<laughs> so let's check this out. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. Okay, so um, this is Black Geyser, Curries of Darkness. I believe it came out yesterday. It's uh was kickstarted and uh and I want to thank uh the folks at Grape Ocean and Vicarious PR for sponsoring today's uh segment. We're gonna be playing this for two hours today and checking it out. Um so without further ado, let's do it. Character creation. You can choose a character below and customize it or create one from scratch. Okay, so they give you a whole bunch of folks that you can just pick and start, but let's check out the character creator, shall we? Let's do it. Has Skulldruck spoken up in chat? Yes. I don't know if they're friends with me on Steam, but we'll figure that out, yeah. All right, so here we go, character creation. All right, let's look at the races. We got humans. I am ready for battle. Male and female. All right, they have a stat page. Can be any class. Minus one, maximum supernatural. Oh. And they have story too. Description and story. Humans, we got dwarves. Male and female. All right. Elves. Four hour character creator steam. Let's go. Stream. Let's go. We'd like to sponsor you for two hours. You know, I won't get out of the character creator in those two hours, right? <laughs> you vote female dwarf called hot girl stuff. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. So we have an elf, male and female. All right, and then we've got a Feldegug? My what is a Feldegug? My arrow true. All right, let's see what a Feldegug is. The Feldegug were once elven tribes who lived to the north. The demigod Dargalmir grew jealous over the love of elves showed for Talindia and imprisoned a number of the elven tribes in the snowy cold north. Okay, so they're like snow elves. I used to play at, back in high school in a homebrew campaign. One of my favorite characters was a snow elf. Hmm, maybe I have to be Snow Elf. I was a Snow Elf bard named Ezekiel Avalanche. Okay, Feldegug. And then Rillo? What is a Rillo? Travelers, traders, and alchemists. The Rillo are a child race of a powerful genie called Elenuator? No, Elenu... Elen El Elenuator. They're a large, physically imposing race who bear a passing resemblance to elephants. How interesting. You went Rillo Druid, Dr. Casper? Oh, interesting. Okay. A gleaming endowment. Look at Thorny's subject. Would you like to give away another copy of the game? I would love wow. to. I would love to. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. Thank you, Thorny. Yeah, whenever whenever the mods are ready. Elephant elephant named hot girl stuff is also pretty great. <laughs> elephant named. <laughs> what does my stream become? Oh my god. All right. Rillo female. <laughs> okay, so all right, we have a whole bunch of classes. It looked like some of the some of the uh races can't be some classes. Can wear any physical armor, can wield Oh, that's fighter. Hold on. The Rillo can't be what? They can't be rangers, templars or winter mages. Uh, okay. But they could be all these. Fighters. Clerics. Oh, we got different art. Oh, I like this. We got different art for each one. Convoker. 
My friends await my summons. All right, there's a new raffle up, gang. One clam to enter, max of a thousand. We're giving away another copy of Black Geyser to make your own hot girl stuff. Yeah. Uh. This is all thanks to the thorny subject. Thank you so much. And Spark, we gave away the last copy. You guys are you guys are amazing. All right. Good luck, everybody. All right. Convoker. What does a convoker do? Okay, it's just like a summoner. Summoner. Druid. Highlander. Necromancer. See, maybe I should see I should do something completely against the grain. Maybe I should be a necro. I never I never choose necromancer. Spell weaver. Okay, some of the some of the portraits are the same. Oh, that looks cool too. Thief. I like that one. See, I'm picking I'm gonna pick my class based completely on like how the portrait looks. Isn't that isn't that what wouldn't that what normal folks do? I have to go like this too. Um, I want to. I have to test this. Is there a, is there portraits for every race class combo plus plus like male female? Who dare stand against? I rock. There are. Who dare stand against me? That one I love for some reason. That is great. The shadows are my home. Come, let me show you. Oh my goodness. See, you know, it is, I love that there's so many different types of portraits for all these combos. Highlander, Ranger. Okay, hi, those are the same. There's a lot. I like it. All right, cool. Let's go back to the Rillo female. You guys want to do the necro? Maybe we'll do a necro. Yeah. What's wrong with you, Bog? Always choose necro first. You know what I feel. You know what I feel that came from. I feel like when I was a kid, like all the D and D groups that I was that I was around, they were all like, "Oh my god, necro! Yeah, necro, necro, everything." Like I think I feel like all my friends and everybody was. Like every, they were all saying necromancer was the coolest thing ever. And so I was never interested in that. I was contrarian. <laughs> Hot undead stuff. All right. Um, so we have points to distribute 20. I'm going to guess that you want intelligence. Wait, so we got physique, which is like strength. I would assume dexterity, intelligence. What's focus? Mental strength and resilience. The character's value and focus modifies their aim and accuracy, their ability to evade incoming attacks through dodging and blocking, and reduces their chance of actions being interrupted by damage. Sorry for hitting the microphone. All right, charisma, and then supernatural. What is supernatural? Increases the character's resistance against damage, enables special abilities for warriors and outlaws, and increases the number of elevated energy slots for wizards and priests. All right, that's complex. Um... I'm going to say we need intelligence. Go up to a 14 on that. Physique is not only strength, it's also how much hit points you have. So I don't want to have none. And this is your aim. Oh man, I want all the stats. And we probably want focus too. So is this party style combat or solo? It's party. Yeah. This is just my main character. All right, let's go with something like that. 14 was the max I could raise the intelligence to. So we'll do something like that. Remember that attributes much, much like diamonds are forever. I know, I know. I think this is what I would want though. Supernatural is resistance against forms of damage special abilities for warriors and outlaws and increase the number of elevated energy slots for wizards and priests am i a wizard as a necromancer now you guys are making me want supernatural points 
Oh, wait. Points to... Wait, you get points to distribute after that. How interesting. Five percent resistance to heat. Okay. All right. Skills and spells. General, I can allocate one. And bargaining and persuasion, learning and research are brewing and drying. It's like brew. All right. So that's like potions. Scroll. Oh yeah. Let's do scrolls. Learning and research. Class specific. All right, Prodigy enables additional dialogue choices themed around wizardry. Arcane studies increases the available casting slots for spells. That seems good. Oh, for elevated energy level spells. I don't even know if I want that. Sense traps. And erect barriers. I think let's do arcane studies. LV the awesome! You are the winner of the raffle. Are you still here, LV? And then weapons. We need one point. There's LV. LV, make sure you friend me on Steam so I can send you your game. If we're not already friends. Just look for Bog Otter. Yes. Thank you so much to Thorny. All right, what is a fusta ball? I need to know what a fusta ball is. Define a character's apt to with slings and fusta balls. <laughs> That's such a great word. That should be our name, fusta ball. Throwing small blades, rods, and all right, we're gonna go with rods and stabs. And then initial spells. Corrosive bolt. Okay. Do I get to read these spells? I don't think I get to read them. Oh yeah, here we go. Deals three to five poison and acid damage, scales up to level nine. Conjures a wave of necrotic energy, damaging anyone caught in it. Deals five to 16. They're making me, uh, I'm making a elephant necromancer lady yes. and we're gonna name him hot girl stuff yes i love it that's amazing <laughs> that is absolutely amazing and i'm wearing necromancer which is totally what are the horns coming out she she's those are tusks she's a she's an elephant person that's amazing yeah Fantastic. all right so what do we want thanks for the coffee You're very welcome. all right death pulse Damaging anyone caught in it. It's a wave of energy around the caster. Fever. Sends a spell-induced fever to attack its target. Okay, that's like, like a condition. Poison weapons. Predator fangs. And stone wall. Sometimes all you need is a good, thick wall to solve your problems. <clears throat> Corrosive bolt. Death pulse. Yeah. Are you sure she's not a weird looking orc and not an elephant? It said elephant. I can't go back now. But it's el it said elephant. Oh, we get to choose a portrait. Okay, which one's our necro here? That looks pretty necro y. That one too. Oh, there's a bunch that work. Hmm. I'm feeling this one. Major color, red. Minor color, black. Skin color, ivory, like an elephant. Eye color, green's fine. Hair color. Yeah, it looks like black in the portrait, right? Hair style. Looks like this one in the portrait. Then we got that. All right. Next, 
Name and voice. Please let us have spaces. Hot girl stuff. Can I have spaces? Yes. Rascal voice. You're so unpredictable. I made an elephant girl necromancer when I usually play giant beefy male barbarians and you're saying that I'm predictable? <laughs> um we got let's hear the voices here. These are always good. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. It's nice to be needed. Why not? All right. At least it's not grunting only. What? Where there's a will, there's a... What? <laughs> huh. Where's the fight? Something you want bashed? Oh, that's yes. good. I'm not going to like this, am I? I don't see why not. I await your instructions. Hmm? I'm listening. Point me at the danger. You need only to ask. I think that fits. I don't know. Malevolent, Speak maybe? Your mind. Oh, here we go. Don't you have another lick spittle? Don't you have another lick spittle? What? Me? I want that one. I want that one. All right, difficulty. You have a lot of experience with role-playing games. You have some experience. With, you do not have any experience with role-playing games. You want some real challenge. I'll leave it at classic. All right, and next, finalize... Here we go. I think we made a character. Would you like to enable main quest guidance? Yes. All right, let's get into this. Black Geyser. I'm excited. I like that we can see my tusks already. Oh, why didn't I look here first? <laughs> and more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? <laughs> oh, hot girl stuff. All right, sorry. Who are you supposed to be? Sorry, what am I supposed to be doing? Sure, sure, I'm on my way. Uh, what am I supposed to be doing? Oh, you do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting? You are simply the laziest. Never mind. Would you call me? <laughs> nice puking statue, says Cormaker. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> oh, man. The lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Okay. You have received a quest. To inspect your objectives or your progress during your quest, click the Operations button on the user interface. Or press O. Side quests. You can write and read your own personal notes by navigating to the Journal tab. Okay. You can read about the world's lore. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go collect my things. Alright, let's, uh... I think the music should be turned down a little bit. That sounds good. If you insist. All right. Yeah. Tread lightly, hot girl stuff. The Royal Guard is here. Okay, fine. Where's my map? Okay, the Espen Estate is where we are. What's this over here? Is this wizard school? This globe reveals a kaleidoscope of swirling colors and vapors mesmerizing the viewer. Hurry it up, please. Can't you see I'm practicing for tonight's spectacle, hot girl stuff? Keep quiet or go somewhere else. What? Hey, hey! Come check out the show. She's just warming up so far. Too bad I'm on garden duty in the courtyard. These guys... The guys inside are going to get quite the show. What exactly is she doing? Hey, aren't you supposed to be on guard duty? What about you? I've heard you're meant to serve drinks at tonight's meeting. I'll bet they're plenty thirsty by now. You're going to let a necromancer serve drinks? Okay. 
Dr. Casper, uh, if you're uh, still here, uh, take care. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. And thanks so much for the five bomb of subs. Appreciate that. Besides, what am I supposed to be looking out for on a night like this? The bright guard are everywhere. I hardly think anyone's going to rob us. On the other hand, seeing Illusion perform is a rare sight. I'll take my chances. What exactly is she doing? Let's Hot girl stuff. <laughs> have you been living at the bottom of a well for the past month? The nobles of Isselbright have come to confer with Lord Espen. Everyone's been preparing for weeks. Once the conference is done, Alusia is going to present a spectacular show of her skills for our guests. That's what she's preparing for right now. I'm sure it'll be a treat. Yeah, like, I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Who are these witnesses? I stand with... Good eye. Huh? Shouldn't you be serving drinks? Okay, fine. I'm gonna go serve drinks. Hey, Rylar, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. This is hilarious. You're tired Friday morning? Oh, man, we've been laughing our butts off here. <clears throat> Welcome. All right, so we're inside the castle now. Um, I don't know if I can get the, the description anymore, but a the Rillo was described as part like elephantine. You love the Baldur's Gate 2 vibes it's giving me. Totally is reminiscent of Icewind Dale, Baldur's Gate, those type games, yeah. And it's got the same kind of combat too, the pause and uh the pause and play. Or real time with pause, I should say. Alright, so is this where I need to go? Your character's room is now highlighted on the local map. It contains a chest. Ah, okay, where is that? Oh, my room. There we go. Let's go. Where's my room? I need my stuff. Is this my stuff? Infusion of berry juice? Oh yeah, that's my stuff. Speak your mind. Oh, I got good stuff. All right, let me grab all that. Um, infusion of juice. <laughs> that's my favorite potion. Powder of darkness. Old damp robe. Oh, I have two of those. Which one's better? I'll take that one. It's fresher. And I have a dagger. And a balanced knife. And I have my spells here. Corrosive bolt and death pulse. Okay. On the move. Ooh, nice. Tab highlights everything I can loot. Which also means I can steal everything. Three gold. We will rob this place blind. Woolen gloves. Like, what else would you do? Hey, look, I got little gloves. What else? Go to the meeting room to find Baleen. Who in their right mind would do that with all this loot? Potion of relaxation. A pity ring? Oh, it's a type of mushroom. And another kind of mushroom. We have multiple mushrooms. Bog thinks like me. I think uh, I do your bidding. there's no Next other way to play. Time. You gotta do this. At the beginning of the game, you know, you, like, especially as a necromancer, you know you're gonna be pretty weak in combat. I need every advantage I can get. Really, though, they really allow you to go everywhere, don't you? Don't they? Lunar Pendant? Is that magical at all? Chance to grant Lucky to self. Yes. That's good. Alright, some gold and another potion. Until somebody, like, throws me in jail, we keep doing this. Oh, what is this thing? A bracelet? I love all this free stuff. Bracelet. Uh, identify? Item identified successfully. 137 experience points. 
it, it gives you plus one to focus. That is absolutely brilliant. Where does this go? Is this going the same? Oh, it goes in the same slot as my other. Oh no, it goes over here. Oh, it's a ring. Oh, it's a bracelet. Never mind. I'm being dumb. Yes, I know. I'm being dumb. I want to play the harp. Gold. Can you zoom in out? You can zoom in and out. Yep. Uh, you can control the camera with uh, WASD, right? So it's left click to move. And then you control the camera with WASD. Uh, you, there is a setting. I saw this uh, already. Font size. You can set to largest or large. Whatever you want. Yep. If you have any other questions, let me know, gang. This is it's your opportunity to find out everything about the game. Verdant emerald and a belt. Is this a magic belt? A light elven belt. Perfect. We're getting all geared up. So now we know why. Yourself. See, now I, now I can role play. Now I know why my character allows them to think I'm just here to serve drinks. <laughs> this is Lord Espen's sword. I should probably not touch it. Oh, okay. That's where we draw the line. That's where we draw the line. Hey, Merm. Have you considered getting good? Hi, and bye. Off to first girls night out in like two and a half years. Oh my gosh. Have so much fun, Merm. I hope you have the time of your life. All right, we're going to have books. And a scroll. Potion of healing recipe. That sounds good. Potion of cure all recipe. All right. Now that we've taken pretty much everything. Let's go to where they wanted me to go in the I first place. Your bidding this time. You're heading out for your first live concert in three years tonight. Also super excited. You enjoying yourself too, Havetica. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad, gang. All right, so we got guard, hot girl stuff, Lady Larenthal, Lord Joran, Lord Espin, Lady Virillin, Lord Walcroft, and Belene. Find Belene. All right, let's go find Belene. Hello. Hello. At last. Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Wolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virilin and Lord Espen want mead. Go. Lord Wolcroft. Wait, 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 wait. Lord Wolcroft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Wall. Laren wine. I don't know if this matters, but Joran Ale Lady Virillin Espen want mead. That is a sweet table. You're right, Elvi. Um, can I just interrupt Hello, them? Didn't Beline give you your instructions? Oh, okay. Sorry. How about you? Yes, I am thirsty. Is that what you wanted to know? Oh my god. Hello there. If there were ever a reason for you to address me, however unlikely that may be. Hello. Should I have brought a flask with me? Okay. You know what? None yes, of you, I none know. of you are getting what you wanted. Not a single one. Pitcher of ale, pitcher of wine, pitcher of mead. Yeah, I'm not giving them what they wanted. Hmm. Oh, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or all something. All right, Warcraft wanted wine. Uh, okay, have some ale. Can't find good servants in the city. Can't find them out here. <laughs> what a world. Oh my God, really? <laughs> Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy and my throat is sorely parched. She wanted mead. Here, here's your wine. Ugh, you don't expect me to drink this. Yes, I do. I do indeed. Hmm? Yes, yes, get on with it. 
Larenthal wanted wine. We'll give her mead. Mead? Ugh. Hello. Hello. Well? Well, I'll give him what he wanted. Ale. Oh, you know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No. Still didn't, still didn't make them happy. On the move. Do you need some? You're here. Finally. Oh, what did, what did, uh, what did the main guy want? I don't know. Your wine. I must have a talk with Belene later. Okay, I'm already failing this game. <laughs> I can't even serve the drinks. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle ladies? Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Deron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeral nobility, most recently Aldnar. Uh, Cormac says, will you do a full playthrough? These games are typically super long, so that's hard to know at this point, but we'll see. No commitments at this point. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthal, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virilin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. You're in trouble. Uh, why, I will... <laughs> but you won't. Whatever the loyalties of her... Uh the young lord of House Espen, the southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy, some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the king's insistence that Deron Gould's military, e even the town watch, must be trained in the north. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard not wrong. this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed. <laughs> oh my, what exceptional nonsense. <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isil Bright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Strange Chase says, oddly looking forward to the inevitable death of the first NPCs we've met. <laughs> Wise counsel, my friend, but I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Good was deliberately provocative. Deliberately! Leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come lords and ladies for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege and crush Daron Gould or or dot 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 throw in with the rebels they have the gold they have a well-trained army and most importantly they control the mines in a conflict of any significant length Having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. You there, what is your opinion on recent developments? <laughs> You're asking me, I messed up all the drinks. You're asking the scullery maid, what does- Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Larenfall. 
Well, we have hot up. girl stuff. Speak up. All right. A peaceful solution must always be the best. I don't think that's what we're going to say. Whether or not Darren Gould has legitimate grievances is beside the point. They must be crushed. To do otherwise would invite rebellion from every quarter. Since I have little experience in political matters, for me, the wisest course is silence. No, I'm going to crush the enemies. Indeed. There is truth in what you say. I have often found fear to be a more useful asset than respect. Uh oh. See? Here we go. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. Under attack by whom? They make no secret of their allegiance. They fly the banners of Daron Gould. See, I told you we should attack them. Uh, did you see anything else? Who leads them? That one was far at the back. All I could see of him was his vibrant red hair like a flame. Aldana. How much time do we have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already... Surely they will listen to reason wherever they're from. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare, right? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. Oh my God, they're all gonna die. You, what? Where are you going? Come with me, make haste. Okay, I'm gonna go with Lord Espen. It's a good thing I already looted so everything. Tiresome. Hey, where are you going? I'm going with uh, Lord Espen. He told me. This way, hot girl stuff. Okay, I'm ready. You and you lot with me. But what is it, my lord? That the sound. The gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Daron Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. And you, prepare whatever spells you know. Surely your magical tutorial oh, I like must that. be good for something. Gods know it cost enough. I like that they change the dialogue depending on what kind of character you are. All right, here we go. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Combat started. Oh, look at this. We got Darren Gould soldiers. If you insist. All right, combat has started. You are free to stay out of the fight this time around. Soldiers of the estate can handle themselves. If you decide to engage the attackers, clicking on them will send your character to attack. You can also attack both hostile and non-hostile creatures by clicking on the sword icon on the user interface. Okay, or pressing left control on your keyboard. During combat, some spells and abilities may cause combatants to be affected by status effects. Their duration expressed in turns. Each turn takes five seconds to pass on default speed. Okay, do I have... I don't have a ranged... All right, let's, let's see what happens if Look I just attack. Into my eyes as you perish. Am I going to throw daggers? Yeah. Oh, who's this wiggler? Oh, hell no. Darren Gold Mage. All right, let's use... Actually, I don't... they said that we can handle this without... I don't want to use my spells. I'm missing. I'm missing. <laughs> Miss! Oh, crap. You all right, use this weapon. There we go, I did two. Somebody help me with the wizard! All right, got her. <laughs> Let me in here. Let me squeeze by. All right, I'll loot everybody. Yoink! So tiresome. Yes! Oh, you gave me a sling? Shepherd's sling? A whole bunch of st okay hold on hold on i know this uh the town's under attack but um i got stuff to do where'd the sling go i 
Did it auto equip? Did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up. That's why. All right, we got a staff. Brilliant Sapphire Staff. Grants one base slot level one and one base slot level two. That's beautiful. All right, so grab that. Throw that over here. Put the dagger there. Actually, we want the sling to be in our offhand with the 50 rocks. Oh, that goes up there. Okay, perfect. Nice. On the move. Is friendly fire a settings option? Not that I see. Not that I see. We're proficient in staffs, are we not? We are. We are. I picked it. All right, so where did, where did our friends go? I don't even know if they're our friends. Where'd you go? This way. Okay. Other combat. They are not getting past us. That damn right. Shoot them. Blood and souls. How do I choose what to shoot with? I just punched. Uh, how do I use my sling though? I guess we're using the staff. I don't have the sling equipped. I put it. Oh, I th what happened? I thought I put it right here. Did I drop it? Did you guys see? What did I what did I do with that? Oh. I'd have to rewind my stream. I could have sworn I put that in my offhand. Oh well. I'll just smack this guy with the staff. Ugh. I'll cut you into little pieces. There we go. Yeah. I clicked drop sling, did I? Alright, hopefully we can pick it up. Is it still on the floor? Yes, I know. Guard this door with your life, hot girl stuff. Come with me. Yeah, but I'm trying to find my sling. I guess I lost it. Weird. Sling was in the narrow hallway. Oh, here it is. I got my sling back. Woo, what a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I'm at 106 pounds. All right, so we got to drop some of this. I can't take all of this into battle? What do you mean? All right, let's drop that. Drop. 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 Okay. Oh, I still have too much. Um, I'll drop a sword or two. Okay, and the sling. Beautiful. So now I can click if the sling. You insist. Now listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. My lord, it sounds like the fight is coming to us. Perhaps we better ready ourselves. Can we talk about your dead wife some other time, sir? We haven't time for your smart remarks. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember. But if you had, she... Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. 
My lord, maybe a few clever words would serve better than a sword. No, I'm ready to fight. Fetch your own sword. I'm not. I'm no soldier. Perhaps I will be spared if I surrender at once, my lord. I'm ready to fight. Fetch your own sword. There's no time for argument. <laughs> okay, fine. Bidding this time. <laughs> Is he gonna lock me in? He locks me in. Good thing I searched all these rooms. All that loot that they uh they would have stolen. Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. Oh, this is his son? To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and men-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this, well... Enough of your piety. It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. What a jerk. Hot girl stuff. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. <laughs> what? <laughs> and uh, Lord Esper's last... last words were calling my name? That's so strange. I want to go to this giant mushroom place, though. What is that? Get up, lazy girl. It's time to go to bed. What? Where am I? What? Does this look like Rothgar's realm to you? You're in my hut. Uh, okay. But why am I in your hut? I brought you here. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. You can send your character to rest by clicking the rest button. Resting will replenish some of your character's health, restore spells and ability uses. Beware though, sleeping out in the wilds comes with the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is safer and more comfortable option. If you insist. There's a kitty. It's a kitty named Rux. Feeling well? I told you, child, get some sleep. We'll have much to discuss tomorrow. All right. How can I... Let me look at my spells. Or is there a way to prepare my spells? There's the rest button. Is there behind me. Um, because I think that I think that the one of the things that we got one of the items that we got allows me to pick new spells. Here we go. Here's my spell book. I guess I can't do level one spells. I want to do something like that I don't know if this works can I steal from her light leather armor Yoink. I'm now I'm carrying too much sort by weight that's the heaviest thing Am I allowed to wear it? That we don't know. 
No, Necromancer can't use this. So let me drop that. Drop. That's a Claymore. We'll drop one of those too. All right. Let's rest for the night. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream wraiths. You're the one that told me to sleep. Um. Hey, just because you've clearly never heard of beauty sleep doesn't mean that you need to impugn... What? To impugn my work ethic. There you go. Well, if you've got any ethics at all, you'll help an old woman around the house and on. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Uh, can't you tell I'm grieving? My liege was killed by his own son, Aldnar. I think I'll get a few more hours of sleep while I got the chance. I won't hear of it. You'll get your rest when you've earned it. Now, I'll be making a stew this evening. You'll be helping. I'll need you to go find some things for Take me. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know. Please. Okay. Read the list. Quest items are down here. A handful of bruise root, one brown stem mushroom, and a slab of fox meat. You have a bad feeling about oh, this stew? No. I know, me too. Me too. Rux. Powder of annoyance. That sounds good. What did I just pick up there? Couple potions. Potion of healing. Potion of cure all. Meow. I don't mind if I do. Meow. Infusion of berry juice recipe. All right, let's leave. A strong magical force has kept it shut. What am I supposed to do? She gave me a list of what she needs. Uh, okay. I do your bidding this time right, what well. do you need my oh good good you know how to read i have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself here put these on what did you give me gardening gloves and then improves with the uh brewing and di and drying You put your gloves on just like the rest of us, all fingers at the same time. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Maybe. Good, good. Now off with you. When you've got everything on the list, come back, and I'll be making to that stew. By the way, be careful of the creatures in the forest. They can be a bit bitey. Take this stuff as well. It should come handy, should you need to protect yourself. Okay. A traveler's cane? No thanks. I got a magical item. Nope. Don't need that. All right. Let's drop a couple of these really heavy things so we can actually loot. Yes, I know. All right, let's get out of here. What do you guys think so far? pretty fun for anybody that's just tuning in we're checking out uh black geyser which yeah, it's right here which just came out um yesterday so if you like some rpg goodness uh give it a look just type hashtag game and take a look at the link and uh once again thanks to the devs if you for insist. sponsoring today's stream all right here we go hidden cabin Got some potions. I don't know who this wiggler is. Moon glider. All 
All right, let's go talk yes. to this person. Greetings, fellow traveler. I am Volandir. Please forgive me if I seem confused. I am not well just now. The Druidic Order sent me to heal this forest. There is an invasive species of spider I am to cleanse, but they have unfortunately got the better of me. I've been severely bitten, and they are venomous as well. I cannot continue. I considered approaching the cabin, but I was repulsed. The yellow spiders are destroying the natural balance in this area. I am too weak to fight them now, but perhaps you could finish the work on my behalf? Um... You are foolish to confide in a stranger on the wilds, let alone admit that you're weak and defenseless. Attack. That might be a little too strong. Um, how did you come to be poisoned? Tell me more about these awful spiders. Different chapters of my order have been reporting a disturbing trend in Yerengal's forests. New and previously unknown species are moving in and mindlessly devouring and destroying our natural resources. Normally, I would say that greed is a concept unknown to such simple creatures, yet the coordinated manner in which they are driving out the local fauna and hoarding food and territory to no purpose strongly suggests that is the motivator. They must be driven out before the damage becomes irreparable. All right, let's do it. Thank you for serving the Green Mother. There are four places in the forest where the infestation is thickest, a colony to the north and south, another bunch near a, con a conspicuous... Conspicuous, not conspicuous. Conspicuous bush, also to the south, and one by the old bridge to the west. I wonder if it marks things on your map or if you have to take notes. Hmm. Explore the highlighted areas for the ingredients. It looks like at least oh, the main no. quest shows you where to go. Oh, here's some yellow spooters. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be fighting. Look into my eyes as you perish. Help! Help! Kill them! Kill them quickly! All right, there we go. Update to the quest. It's a good thing he didn't see me panic. White Rither? All right, what do we got here? Brown stem mushroom. That's what we need that. That's good. Another moon glider. All right, I guess. Try sling one of these. Come on. All right, pick out the staff. Oh God, we're getting our butts kicked. Blood and souls. I need another party member, quick. I'm dying. Quick. Okay. Wow. And they have no loot. Um, I guess we're going to drink this potion here. Oh, that's poison. Okay. 20 to 25 health. I do your bidding this time. All right, where else do we need to go? Looks like down here. Agatha's Weevil. Slay the fox wandering the area to collect its meat for the crone. You could do this by ordering your character to attack it and then looting the corpse. Spellcasters may alternately use an offensive spell. Uh, yeah, let's... There we go. I'll cut you into little pieces. <laughs> Sorry, fox. Okay, we got the meat and the pelt. Perfect. There's more spooters over here. How far away can we hit, hit the spooters? There we go. Get the other one. Nice. Yes, I know. I know. 
We'll rummage around here. There we go. We got the bruise root. I think we've got everything for the main quest. Can we do the spiders? Okay, good. They have everything in this. Uh... Actually. It doesn't tell you everything, right? All right, more spiders down here. Hell, take the hindmost. No, you really needed a hit with that. No, please hit. Please hit. Surrounded by curse. Thank you. Hit again. Did I get poisoned? Yes, I am poisoned. I am poisoned. Cure all. Drink. Oh, boy. Wow, this is so rough. So tiresome. Okay, hopefully... Can I save it? Let's save it. That seems wise at this point. Getting killed. By spooters. There we go. So we can at least... Reset to this point if we find anything nasty. So how many of you would run right back and turn in that quest? And how many of you would just keep exploring this entire map first? Because it's hard for me to go back when I do those other things. Oh, I have to click this. Is there a hotkey for this? Left control. Okay. Die. 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 You'd explore Skeldrock? Okay. I know. I do your bidding. I am half this dead, time. and I don't think I have any more other ways to heal. There's another spider. That's a forest spider, though. I don't know if that's the same. That's ah, dead. That's the edge of the map here. I can't go any more north than this. Usually give the first quest in first, then explore. I just fear if I go back into the crone's hut, I'm not going to be able to come back out to the same spot. I need more rocks. Blood and souls. No, don't miss. Is hot girl stuff your character name? Yes. Listen to our pre-show if you want to understand where that came from. <laughs> After oh, our pre-show no. today, it was destined to happen. Yeah. What's up, Rabbit? How you doing? I realize that I haven't moved my legs this entire, like, hour. And they're numb. Okay, can't go across the water. Okay. Here's the rest of the spiders, I hope. Look into my eyes as you perish. Look into my eyes. You will find. There's nothing left. To hide. Yes, I know. Give me the mushrooms. Oh, I said, give me the Speak mushrooms. Your mind. These... So tiresome. Those are dead ones. Are these live over here?
Okay, I think we've explored everything. Did I finish the side quest? I've slain all the yellow spiders. Yeah. All right, sweet. All right, let's go back, turn that in, turn in our two quests. Do we need a new command move, legs? Maybe. Hello. Yellow spiders, are they all slain? Yes, your eight-legged nemesis will trouble the forest no more. Thank you for your help. I need more time to recuperate, but I believe I will recover eventually. Take this antidote. I had more than I need already. Now that the spiders are gone, you will make better use of it, I'm sure. No, keep the antidote for yourself. Who knows what perils you might face on the road home. Thank you, it's good to be prepared for anything. I don't need a vial of your spit mixed with herbs. Your other gear will come in handy, however. Let's say that. Let's see what it gives me. You, I barely am able to stand, but nevertheless, I shan't be a threat lying down. If you're hoping for easy riches, you are about to be dis- I, I didn't want to. <laughs> I guess I was kind of robbing him, wasn't I? Um... <laughs> um, I think I'm about to get my ass kicked by a druid. Hey, but I leveled up. I guess we should go to our spells. Death Pulse. Okay, Bog went pure evil. I didn't realize that's what I was doing, but yes. If you insist. Yes, I did. And I, look at what that. Are you doing? I got 19 more rocks, gang, and a plain staff. Hey, but we leveled up. Aren't we excited about that? Don't you have another like spittle? Okay, bargain and persuasion, learning and research, or brewing and dying, drying. I keep saying dying. Um, learning and research, class skill. To sense and disable hidden traps in the world. To erect barriers. I think it's this one I want. And then weapons. I guess we'll go with rods and staves. Except. I had to get no new skills. One by my spell book. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back into the crone. I didn't do no murders outside. Post murder. Feeling well? No. Ah, the hero returns and with a fresh harvest. It's all there. Yes, perfect. How can you tell what's in my pack and what isn't? Now that I've gotten what you really need, I have more questions. I'm getting hungry. Take what you need from my pack. Is there some sort of reward for doing these menial chores for you? All right. How can you tell what's in my pack and what isn't? Oh, let's just say it's a feeling like everything is where it should be. Oh, if this is easier to accept, I've spent many long days sniffing around, so my nose knows. Hmm. I have more questions. No, no, let's get the pot boiling first, and then... What? Watch this. Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come Maybe. now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before. No. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, <laughs> oh well, take this candle and get to drying. Oh, then crush the herb, dry herbs into powder. So we'll have something to season the stew with. All right, various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits, and insects can be brewed into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform these actions. A cauldron for brewing and a heat source like candles or a lantern for drying. To begin drying, you must first open up your inventory screen. Bloop! Drying. Click the ingredient. Put it in the thing. Click the ingredient. Put it in the other thing. To switch between ingredients and heating devices, click the leaf or the cauldron buttons. Okay. During brewing, the same buttons are used to navigate between ingredients and brewing device. Okay. And here's my candle. Put it down there. Start drying. 
Your ingredients are now dry. Your candle has consumed and been consumed in the process. Lanterns on the other hand can be used indefinitely. They also enable the use of various heat levels. Click the start crushing button to crush these ingredients into powder. Unlike brewing and drying, crushing takes a short while to finish. Start crushing. Collect. All right, we've got crushed stuff. Oh, good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... Uh, Mugaldar says, has this officially launched? It officially launched yesterday. Yep. It's not in early access anymore. Yep, yep, yep. All right, good, good. Well and dried, finally crushed. Give me a moment. There, it's on the fire. Now we have a few <laughs> precious moments to spare. We should talk about talking. Talk about talking? What do you mean? What do you think I mean, child? Um, well, I'd rather talk about something else. No, um... You're trying to teach me something, learning and research. There's never enough time, and our time would be better served by discussing matters of import, bargain and persuasion. Let's do learning and research. Very good. I think you already have the hang of it, but in case that was a fluke, the idea is this. Taking the time and effort to gain knowledge, or even learning to talk, Will greatly benefit you gr well will benefit you greatly in the difficult times ahead pay close attention to what you might uncover in conversations through wit or charm um can we just talk normally without any subtext your impatience will not serve you well young woman now i'm certain you have more questions perhaps i can continue being instructive um is the stew almost ready that's a question ah yes yes almost ready indeed now, now there's something you should know when you leave here the world you knew yesterday will be gone is that a metaphor it is not the it attack on the espin estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire i am afraid much will be lost to strife and war there are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. The curse of greed spreads through the land. Is this another metaphor? No, no, greed. A terrible covetousness that hides in mortal hearts. It is among the darkest of dreams. But this is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere magic. apprentices can trip either. It is most dangerous. And you must understand that. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Ah, getting a good look at you now. You're a bit of a magician, aren't you? Um, a bit? I'll have you know that I am greatly feared and respected for my magical prowess. A bit of an overestimation, I would wager. You have much to learn. Let's get you started. Here, take this. It's a scroll containing a spell for you to learn. Give it a read. Oh, thank you. Summon spider. Click the scribe spell button to learn your new spell. If the button is inactive, it means your character already knows it or the spell is not eligible. All right, scribe it. So learnable by convokers, spell weavers, and necromancers. Nice. What? Hot girl stuff detected a trap? Very good. I see the look of recognition in your eyes. You know a new spell. You must learn as many as you can. I say this with care. Magic will keep you alive, but may also hold unforeseen dangers. Now, there's a trap in the room, ready to give you a little scare if you aren't careful. Go see if you can find and disarm it. No time to waste. If you insist. All right, so your character has spotted a trap. The magical perception skill can be used by wizards to find and disarm traps with magical components. To use your skill, open the skill bar above your portrait row, and then click magical perception to commence using the skill.
Very good. The freezing enchantment on the trap was but a mere nuisance. Other devices may not be as gentle. As a wizard, you'll be running across many peculiar things on your journey. Some will mean you harm by... But you have the senses to spot them in two time. But what was it that? Oh, yes. Aha, we've done it. The stew is cooked and cooled. Here, girl. This will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No, no more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. I do need rest. Where's my stew? Oh, I don't, I don't actually get the stew. Let's look at my spell book. Is that V? All right, we don't, let's get rid of a couple of these. Yeah. Three summon spiders per day. Seems good, right? On the move. And we ready to rest? Here we go. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. About time. About time. Yes, yes. It is time for you to return to the world. I need to be certain we were ready. So does that mean I'm ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as you can be. What's going out in the world that I need to be ready for? Oh, conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. Great things are coming. Terrible things, but great. Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. What? My father? Are you telling me that Lord Espin was your father, yes? Oh my god! I was not expecting that. Um, thanks, Ollivander. You're welcome. Is food included? And if so, is it optional? Gotta eat the stew. Uh, but I'm not even a human. He couldn't be my father. Pardon, child. I don't wish to explain to you how babies are made. I trust you know, but your mother was indeed not a human. The deities of Yerengal were your mother's midwives. They had a purpose in mind for you, and they had to secure your safety so that you could live up to that purpose. You were born into a treacherous world, my dear. It was very important you would not be recognized as Espen's heir before the time was right. As the gods peered through the veils of the void, they saw that a Rillo child would raise no suspicion of a re relationship with to Lord Espen. The life of a Rillo and Ismereld is destined to be riddled with challenges, but their cunning and ability to avert the curse of greed will prove very useful to you. That is why you were formed so perfectly in the image of your mother. As well, the closely guarded secret of your mother's connection to Lord Espen ensured your safety until now. We haven't the time to go into the story into greater detail, but you are a true heir of Lord Espen. Knowing this should be enough. Hmm. Now you understand why Lord Espen paid you so much attention despite your servitude. The other servants surely did not receive the same education or the same favors, nor did anyone else in his house excepting your half-brother, Aldnar. Oh, gods, he killed our father. Aldnar took away my only family. I refuse to believe in... All right, Aldnar. He did. And that is the world I must send you back into, one where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed patricide, one unaware yet hostile to your existence. Um... I'm leaving now, finally. Be safe, my child. Wow, all right. Chapter one complete. World greed grew by 50. What is that mechanic? I don't even know. I don't even understand. All right, first I need to find out what really happened back at the state. I do your bidding this time. Wait, I, I didn't heal from resting? You don't heal up? If you insist, speak your mind. I did not heal. How does one heal? Where's the recipe for the curing potion? 
Here we go. Two bruise root. Heat level low. I don't have any of that. Damn. What about the other one? Cure all. Do I have this? Pity ring and red comb. That I have. Oh, do I need to brew or not? Oh, yeah. I have to brew. Is it dry? How do you tell if it's dry ingredients or not? Okay, so it's Pity Ring and Red Comb. Heat level low. Oh, I don't have a brewing device. I'd have to go back in. Yeah. What's on my face? Tusks. We are a Rillo. They said they resemble elephants. So we've got tusks. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, wait. Did I never accept those? Arcane studies. Weapons. Rods and staves. Oh, I can, I can learn two spells? Oh, I can learn a level two spell. Oh, man. Inflicts panic on the target. Inflicts silence and distraction. Summons one skeleton for three turns. Drain life? Hell yeah. You want drain life? Ride the lightning. Move like lightning and leave some behind for any unfortunate enough to be nearby. The ca qu caster quickly jumps away. Bakes well-armored foes in their armor like a hot day in the sun. It's like, all right, I'd like ride the lightning and drain life, I think. Okay. And this we want to review in the recipes as well. All right, can I go oh, back no in move. there? Can I go in here? I can go back. Yeah, I meant the character avatar. I see the tusks on the model. If you insist. Like here or the or my portrait. Yeah. Um, I can't sleep again. Let me use your let me let me use your uh your cauldron over here to brew some potions. Can I do that? Start brewing. I can't. I've got no devices to brew. All right. And I don't think I have any potions of healing, do I? Potion of cure all we have. Scribe spell of identify. Yeah, we want that. And let me try to rest. Actually, we gotta allocate spells. Um, level two. There we go. Can I steal the candle off the table? It is not stealable this is oh wait what on the move oh this Did we already grab this yeah and this okay all right we healed a little bit though that's better
<laughs> put the candle back. All right, we're ready to set out. A new day. If you insist. I do. Travel to Isselbright. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Where are we going? Where am I going? Can you take me with you? That's the Espen Estate. Is that where I need to go back? Find someone to tell me where I am right now would be a good start. First, I need to find out what really happened back. Finding someone to tell me where I am right now. Um, On the move. I think I, I think I killed the only other guy that's out here. Maybe there's a bridge. Maybe we'll go across the bridge. F5 does a quick save. Okay. F5. There we go. What is this? Spider. He is our hero. All right, let's sling him. Look into my eyes as you perish. Quick, hit it. Nice. Okay. Combat is over. I need party members real bad. That's where my necro will shine. I am not messing with these things. The white rithers. I do your bidding. Hell no. This time. There we go. Kill things from afar. And gather some plants. There we go. Another one of those. The, the fox wasn't a problem. Okay. Okay. Oh, there is something to pick up over here. Another butterfly? Yes, I know. I know. You give the characters orders, they have those like voice line barks, right? That they, they do and always reminds me of Baldur Gate with that one guy. Time for a bit of the rough and tumble. Are they gonna attack me? I hope not. Just be, just be cool. Just be cool. Oh, I spotted a ghoul. No, 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 no. Did it see me? All right, hold on. Let's summon. Summon a spider. Okay, and then kick the crap Blood out of them. Kick the crap out of them. Nice! 150 for the ghoul. So tiresome. Ghouls have no loot. Still, 150 is nice. Three butterflies just sitting there. 
Summon spiders. Did we graduate to hot and <laughs> hot and goth girl stuff now? Yes, we did. Hey, Necro is a cool choice. I just need party members. All right, let's let's put out a spider, and let's take these guys out. Go, my minions! Oh, it's coming. I'll cut you into little pieces. Okay. Nice, 120 oh, experience. But I'm not showing any anywhere to exit over here. Oh, I can exit to the south. All right, let's see. Let's try this again. Ah. So we're at the hidden cabin. Merchant's Road. Is this where we want to go next? I guess. Let's go. Nice. Outlaws can plant powders on unsuspecting targets to inflict negative effects. The powder must be on the person for one turn to activate. Set their pants on fire. It's a powerful powder. I'm carrying too much stuff again? I am. Alright. What is this? Just a wrought iron mace? Drop! I need a vendor. If you insist. To sell all my stuff to. Alright. My kingdom for a party member. They didn't give my spells back while we traveled. Look into my eyes as you perish. I like the weather effects. Bruise root. We need those for healing potions. Shockwing. Oh boy. Forest kobolds. Hmm. Oh no, this is gonna be bad for me. You know what? Let me use the death pulse. Oh, why did I do it twice? On the move. I used two spells by double clicking. Hey, a weak potion of healing. Excellent. Are they dog type or dragon type kobolds? I don't know. I have no clue. Blood and souls. Um. Hit the spider, please. Thank you. Am I poisoned? Oh, crap. I got poisoned. I do your bidding this time. I wonder if I stay on the road, I would find a... An NPC that might help. Help me! Let's go back to the road. Normal people would go down the road first. Oh god. That's not what I was expecting. Oh, you bet free loot. Oh my god! What the hell happened here? I definitely need the candle. Metal plated greaves. I can't carry this stuff. Oh, uh, maybe if she changed her taunt to something like that spider insulted your mom. Better attack it. Those mom and insulting spiders. 
The rain makes it feel colder in here for some reason. All right. Yes, I know. Hey, look, somebody. Helgenar. I'm listening. A sorry sight it is. <laughs> Did they leave any spoils? Watching the crows, are you? The birds are lucky. They need not ponder what drives men to their bloody deeds. I'm Helgenhar. Call me Helg if that's too much of a mouthful. Do you know why they were fighting? Is that a serious question? Even a league beneath the Skag Mountains, everyone knows of the war. Um, soldiering is a messy business, and I'm glad to have no part of it. Hmm. One league into the sky, everyone knows about birds. Ha, as you say, of course. Anyway, this was one of the smaller battles between a sealed bright and dead and gold. Um, since we're on the same road, why don't we walk it together? I was thinking the same thing myself. But both by habit and predilection, I am always careful of my companions. Tell me, what brings you out on this desolate road alone? Um... I'll tell him. Because I really, I'm desperate to have a party member. <laughs> I need somebody to be my meat shield. Wow, that's quite a tale. If I was a bard, I'd be taking notes right now. It stands to reason that with your father dead, you are the heir to his estate. Hmm. If only there was somewhere all my questions could be resolved. This is the road to Asilbright, you know. Capital of Asilmarild, and also the world's capital of noble titles. The city's hall of records boasts the largest collection of histories in Yerengal. I myself am planning to visit to research some family matters. You would be wise to do the same. All right, care to join me? Excellent. Onwards to a Silbright. Yeah, I'm not picky. While having one of your companions selected, you can use the interact button to initiate a conversation. You can learn more about their backgrounds, progress their quests, or make them leave the group. All right, so where is the interact button? I'm listening. Oh, over here. Ah, okay, so you can go through all of their story. You never told me why you were interested in the Hall of Records. Well, as I messaged before, it's a family matter. A century or more back, my clan split into two separate bloodlines, each with its own strong traditions and beliefs. As you might guess, the bullheaded nature of my kin has made living alongside one another difficult. Now, a new and very rich vein of gemstone has been discovered in the depths of Stundurhum. And the feud between my brothers and sisters has come to a near point where bloodshed will be inevitable. I heard of a dwarven keeper working in the Hall of Records, one whose research focuses on the history of the Northern Realm and our kind. Feuds similar to the one dividing my relations have always been common among dwarves, but I need to learn from him how such problems were resolved. All right, we need to find Hallbrag. All right, let's look at this guy. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, he's a fighter. Oh. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Dwarven fighter, level three. Hey, Gapper, what's going on? Do you recommend zombie rollers, pinball heroes? I love pinball and roguelites. If you love pinball and roguelites, it seems like the game for you, right? Did you, you did you watch my stream of it above on the Steam store page? I'm assuming that's how you found me. Yeah, you can get it. I mean, I played it for, what did I play for an hour? Maybe more? You can see what the gameplay is a lot, a lot like just by watching that stream that it, it should loop on there, but yeah. It looks fun, then I would, then, then go for it. Yeah. It's a loop. You've watched the whole thing, I bet. <laughs> well, thanks for coming over, and I hope you're having a great Friday. Yeah. Um. I'm so happy that we have 
a fighter. What, what does Vigilance do? Oh, and he seems to be able to Lord. level up. All right, let's level him up. We'll give him Bargain and Persuasion. Class skills. It's a dialogue choice for warriors. No, let's see. What else? Gabber, thanks for following. Increase health gained while resting at outdoor locations. Offers the ability to become the leader of the party. Each point of physique increases the skill. Uh, command company. You know, let's go with outdoor survival. And what kind of weapons does he wield? We don't know. But he's already got battle axes and warhammers. Oh, am I going to have to start over? I'm going to have to start over. But let's see. What is he? He's got an axe. All right. Real quick. Uh, bargain persuasion. Outdoor survival. Axes. I'm going all in on axes. Beautiful. Switch those. There we go. I go. Is there a formation? What do you need? That selects you the full say? party. Here's the formation. Okay. As you say. Okay. So he's slightly ahead of us. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna. Can I move my character to the back? No. Okay, now I feel like... Now we can explore. By steel and stone! Oh, you guys are... <laughs> you guys are going the wrong way! Stay together! How convenient that soldiers in armor are all around. That's true, I can pick up more things now. You just reminded me. Gabber, thanks for the bits. That's true. I can probably hold all this stuff now. We, one would hope. Oh no, Azari's gonna see my screen and think the worst. I didn't do it! What did you do? I didn't do that! Oh Chat. my god! Chat, help me out. I didn't do that. Bog Richard Otter. That's my name? That is your full name. You monster! You're in charge. I didn't do it. I made a necromancer, but I'm so happy I found a fighter to, to stop me from getting murdered by oh, everything. Really? How funny. He needs to get stand in the way of everything. All those poot animals. I know, Golamancy. Those poot animals. What's a poot animal? I don't know. It's what he wrote. All those poot animals. I love it. You literally wrote poot in I chat. love that. That's great. <laughs> um, let's give him the chain hallbook. He had some nice legs. You don't want to show off his legs? That last little pants he was wearing. Look. Ooh, oh. He's got skivvies. Whoa, excuse me. Don't All right. That's a little bit more than I Speak your mind. <laughs> um, oh, you can change your colors at any time. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's great. Oh, really? That's oh. fantastic. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's the... Okay, cool. I will say one thing before I just run away. Yeah. The, the character portrait. Yeah. My God, that is amazing. I chose that for the Necromancer. Isn't it good? That is fantastic. I love that art. Love yeah. that art. Now that they... You know what? That was, I was really impressed in the character creator because... You could change to male, female of all the different races and then change to any class. And they had like a lot of different portraits, which really? is great. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Might look cool, but airport metal detectors are a nightmare for her. <laughs> True. I didn't even think of that, but yes. Oh, and I can give this guy some of my weight. There, take all my heavy stuff. I'm listening. All right. And then these weapons better than when you got their keen battle axes. That's what you have. 
Okay. Can I use boots? Don't you have another like spittle? Those are thick leather boots, and I already have them. Okay. Save. I know he can carry up to 170 pounds. He's great. I wonder. Right. I wonder if the person you meet complements what character you choose. Like, if I chose a fighter, would I get another fighter here? Probably. Let's get the Hi. What? I'll cut you into little pieces. Whatever you say. As you say. As you say. Hello? Oh, these are, this is not all one group. I'm listening. Even the mightiest fall. I go. Okay, so these are four separate battles, technically. There we go. Oh, and Helengar leveled up. Go ahead. I'm so good at this game. Hey, Sar, what's going on? You think you always come across him? Yes, he is now. Okay. I, I think that makes sense. But um, if you choose a fighter, just realize in the beginning of the game, you're going to have two fighters, which is not a bad thing. Eventually, you'll probably have enough party members where you can choose who to bring. Um, all right, we'll keep going with the bargaining and the persuasion, even though his charisma is terrible. And his intelligence. But, yeah, I don't really think a general skill. There is a great one for the fighters. Okay. Oh, and he gets a, a spell or ability. Waylay. User of this ability attempts a disabling attack. Okay. To prevent their movement. Vigilant posture. Enhancing their defensive capabilities. That's a shot. Prolonged berserk. And challenging howl. Taunt. Let's get taunt. You're going to be in my tank. Yeah. Ugh. You're finally back from the conference, so looking forward to being here with everyone again. Well, welcome back, Sar. Whatever you you're in charge. All right, what are these guys? Forest kobolds again. Taste steel! <laughs> nice tree in the way. What do you need? Do you guys like all the action you can see here? All right, what do we got? Fine leather belt. Dried ash tick. All right. Um, those rocks need to go to me, though. I need all the rocks. 40. Go ahead. Bye. Where'd that wolf go? <laughs> Give me all the plants. What do you need? I need you Even to... the mightiest fall. I need you to kill a spooner. I go. I love the rain effects. It's very good. Whatever you say. Very peaceful. As you say. I'm listening. By steel and stone. What do you need? Looks like a giant butterfly is attacking charge. me. 
Uh, one sec. Alright, let's... Oh, I kind of wanted to not fight these in front of the tree. Yeah, that's one piece of feedback I would give. Like, the same thing was happening to me in Pathfinder. Um, like, things in the foreground? When you can't spin the camera? They get in the way. Oh, how did I ch change the speed? How did I do that? I changed the speed. That's great. I'm listening. <laughs> Very fast. I don't know how I did it, but it's good. Go ahead. Hi. Even the mightiest fall. Foreground items need to hide or be opaque. It, yeah, you need an like opaque or transparent option, something like that. Yeah. This is very, this is so like old school Baldur's Gate style where you have these square maps that you want to fill in. Pillars of Eternity is like it too. You know, it's like, all right, well, I know where I've been on this map. Okay, I, I got to pick up every bug. As you say. By steel and stone. Beautiful. We'll level up in no time. Wow. That one exploded. All right, we're going to just grab all the EXP we can from this map. So I'm sure it don't get easier from this point. Fast mode is enabled with Q. Is that what it is? Well, I go. You're right. It is Q. Thank you. I like fast mode. Okay, so there you go, gang. If anybody out there is going to be grabbing this game, the letter Q increases the speed of movement. What are we? Hi. Yeah, and if you guys look at that link that Marauder just put in chat, that helps out our sponsor today. Please, at the very least, wishlist the game, even if you're not ready to buy, or maybe it's not your cup of tea. Wishlisting helps out devs especially small development studios that helps them out a ton. They get stats that go to Steam. And the more people that are wishlisted in the game, the more opportunities they get for like ad placement or collabing of some sort. So, yeah. All right, we got a new Hello. person to talk to. Gavin. Good day, kind madam. On your way to this all right, I warrant a wise choice given the circumstances. It's been several days since I fled Darren Gould. I was already doubtful of our chances against Thistlebright before the War Council decided to make its move, but when the plague struck, I grew certain I was on the wrong side. What plague? Have you not heard? Have you been living at the bottom of the sea? Darren Gould declared war on Thistlebright a few days back and has already gained a foothold in the south of the kingdom. Militarily, it was quite the feat. But a terrible illness began to rage across the city almost immediately thereafter. Citizens had been taken to their beds several weeks before, but no one thought it was serious. Now they've become taken to their graves, and in the dozens. 
I took that as a sign to leave town. But don't you go calling me a coward. A merchant has no true home anyway. That's how I look at it. And you know, I managed to bring some of my wares with me from Darren Gould. Care to take a look? Um. Yeah. You are browsing a merchant's inventory. You can see their stock on the left side. Okay. I think we can figure this out. Potions. Wow, that's expensive. I only have 53 gold. Multiple items can be selected by holding the control key. Okay. Um. I would like to sell. I would like to sell that, 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 that. I'll keep one short bow in case we get somebody who might need it. Royal Guard Sword. It says one to five. Two to six. Those are better. Let me keep that. Traveler's Canes we can get rid of. Wooden Shield. Sell. And he's got multiple chain mails. And keen battle axes. And greaves. And boots. There we go. I'd like to see this guy carry it all now. Alright, weapons. Brown stones. I can buy 200 of them. How heavy? Bye. What else? Healing. 197 for that. Um, candles. That's 82 gold for five. Wow. I'll buy one. All right. Close this. Perfect. So tiresome. Safe. Yeah, I got a candle, but they were expensive. 17 gold each. I'm listening. Here I am. All right. Almost done with this map. If you insist. You're in charge. Check this bush. Alright, I think that's pretty much does it. I mean, there's a little strip there, but we're good. Alright, let's go a little bit further. Our, our sponsored segment is just about over. Maybe we'll go a little bit more. We'll see what where the story leads. We'll leave on a cliffhanger. Hidden cabin. Merchant's Road. Alright, Isselbright Gates. Find out what happens. You guys enjoying this so far? So is it the Winding Creek or the Winding Creek? Game is paused. I'm listening. By steel and stone. Speak your mind. And we got plenty. Look into my eyes as you perish. Don't if you insist. I'm running. Blood and souls. I like how the whole screen shook. Is that a mighty slingshot? Okay. To be honest, the first couple of hours is really an extended tutorial to ease you into the game. Oh yeah, there's a lot to there's a lot to learn. If you've played games like Pillars of Eternity. Um, even Pathfinder and then some of the old school stuff, Baldur's Gate and stuff like that. You have a much better, you probably won't feel as overwhelmed, but yeah. The story starts to really pick up after that. And you know what? I was Great. reading, I was actually reading the reviews of this game, um, 
last night, so many people wrote in their review that they were surprised that the story hooked them so much and that they keep they kept playing and playing and playing and wanted to know what happens. Yeah. What's your name? Well, I go. Um, so that's always good. Especially, you know, CRPGs are really you can have really intricate stories in them. Just nice. So is there anything else to do here? Was this just a wandering just a random encounter on the way? I guess so. Isle Bright Gates. Here we go. So I guess that was uh just a random fight on the way. Traveling is dangerous. Hey, Fire of Moon. <laughs> Who's Wiggler? What you doing? Hey. Well, I go. <laughs> the dwarf's just changing, chasing everybody. Right, let's put it back on normal speed. Speak, your, if you insist. Hello. Yes. I cannot wait to visit Market Street. You can buy anything you desire there. Even meatballs? Especially meatballs. Can I help you? Thank you, a lively one. Which way to the market? Oh, I had to guess. I'd say the palace. Thanks for your help. There's another cat. Can you pet the cat? Can I help you? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find out what happened to Lord Espen. Have you heard of him? They got lists of people such as the Hall of Records. You should call that if they let you in, that is, posh bastards. I'm listening. Okay. Tra As you say. Travelers and childs. Don't ask what the meatballs are made out of. Oh, man. It's kobold. Kobold meatballs. Stand to there. What's your business in the capital? Not a merchant by the look of it. My name is Hot Girl Stuff. I'm heir to the state of Lord Espen, and I've come to claim my birthright. That's probably not the way to do it. I'm looking for work as a mercenary. I have come to apprentice at the School of Wizardry. Hmm. Apprentice at the School of Wizardry. Oh, Naria, save us. Another spell slinger. Excuse me, but not all wizards. Spare me, please. Just go in. Fine. That's what I wanted anyway. All right, so Market Street or Castle District? Oh, we can't. Okay, you have to go to Market Street first. Perfect. Perfect. These black and white drawings on the loading screens remind me of like some of the art and some of the old D and D books. Smolf. Brilliant sleight of hand, Horamil. I reckon Lord Markham still doesn't know he's lighter by the weight of one fancy bracelet. We have a thief. Horamil says, and that, my friends, is why we love the southern shore. Drunken nobles all day long, only a few more taps like that, and we can get some proper treatment for Crag. Sir, someone's coming, I think. What a uh, pr propitious moment for you to walk into our lives, winsome stranger. My friends and I are collecting a small fee from everyone entering the city. A pity, and really, 50 gold pieces. You mentioned the southern shore. What's so great about it? That seems fair. Just let me through. Did you hear? Did I hear you saying your friend is ill? Perhaps this potion of cure-all would help. Your friend there seems perfectly healthy to me, other than being fallen down drunk. If you wait a while, I'm sure he'll sober up nicely. Now, how about you let us buy? That's bargain and persuasion. Piss off twigs. Twi oh, piss off. Twigs like you are easily broken. Hmm. I'm going to try the potion of cure-all. Yes, well, we tried a potion already, but I suppose we could try again. Give it here. Come, fellows. Let's pick somewhere quiet and get this into Crag's belly if there's room. Look at him limping. I love it. Oh, I go. 
Can I help you? Now attack him. Pleasure Seeker, Southern Shore is a place for those who want to indulge in the more corporeal pleasures if you catch my drift. Look for it on Gray Box Square on the western side. Okay. There's hot girl shit going on there. Oh, this is big. Find Southern Shore on Gray Box Square. So this, is this just going to be a store, a weapon store? Tolbar! Yeah. Ho, oh, what an odd way to greet someone. I say what I say. You've no need to get huffy, your grace. So what would it be then? You're a blacksmith? If you can't tell, I won't tell you. Yeah, all right, there we go. Ooh, blue brigandine. Ooh, a lantern, 502, and a brass cauldron. Doesn't pay 50 gold, gives away a 200 gold value potion instead. I was trying to help for once in the playthrough. I was trying to help him. He did seem injured. I don't think he was lying about that. What am I buying here? I don't want to buy two. One of these. Hold on. I think I messed up. What? I love the music here. Ho, ho, me, ho. One of these and one of these. There. Now I should be able to brew My potions. Joe. Can I brew that potion now? Speak your mind. Hello? Oh, does she not have it? Who's who's it on? I'm listening. Who bought the cauldron? Go ahead. Does it matter who's got it? Don't you have another like spittle? I can't find it. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with that. Can I steal? Container is right. locked. If you insist. Um. If she puffs out her cheek, does she sound like a trumpet or a French horn? Well, I go. I go with a bassoon. It would be bassoon like. Greetings. So, where would we go? Gavin the Good? I was like, where do we go to find another party member? Gavin the Good? Branca, taking her so long, surely the great Biala must have something better to do than skulk around a tavern. You know the nobles in there must be fawning all over her. Would you, t would you take your time if you were in her slippers? Please, Biala is nothing but an upstart student with an unusually large po portion of luck. Anyway, noble blood doesn't automatically grant a noble person's taste. If this is the tavern, maybe we find another person to join. I go. Lord Smedrick, 
If any were to ask, I would compare Lady Biala's exquisite presence to the light of dawn. Oh, I wonder if I would com never compare Lady Biala's lovely visage to anything so harsh as that. I think the reflection of moonlight on a still pond is more apt. My lords are too kind, but you know, I'm finding it a titch stuffy in here. I believe I will step out for some air. Let me fan you, milady. I too carry a fan for such occasions. Mine is fashioned from pheasant. Pah! Dirty wild creatures are pheasants. My fan is fashioned from peacock feathers. Step aside, paupers. My fan is crafted from the feathers of a legendary phoenix. In summer, it cools thee, and in winter, warms. Really, my lords, I have a needlepoint back at my apartments that I'm most eager to complete. If you'll excuse me. Nonsense, my lady. I cannot go an hour longer without you choosing me over these two scoundrels. No, we're going to get them to join our party. What spectacle these men have make themselves. A dwarf woman would know how to handle such a situation. A gentle rap on the temple with the backside of an axe. Let's see if we can help her out. Hot girl stuff. Yes. Oh, Lord Smedric, as much as your poetry is alarmingly metaphorical, I still must insist that you speak to no one regarding your thoughts on my resemblance to a flower bud ready to open. Yeesh. Um... I'm gonna do the prodigy one. Every so often the Lady Biala makes a gesture for a minor cantrip which requires a single word to complete, but she can't finish it without giving herself away. I know what's needed here. Lord Smetric, your hair is on fire! <laughs> what? Ah! <laughs> yes. We just, we just set their hair on fire. That's great. This player character name is paying itself in dividends. It's pretty good. Let's rather spoil the mood, I'm afraid. Good. We got rid of them. That was neatly done. Who do I have to thank for my rescue? I am hot girl stuff. Glad to be of service. I am the Lady Biola of the Feldegug. Darling of the court and spellweaver Hush, extraordinaire. But of course, you know all that. Okay. Uh, I can't say that I do. Why would I? Are you some kind of celebrity? You honestly don't know me? How delightful. I'm so tired of the endless legions of fawning earls and viscounts and hangers on. One can hardly walk down the street here without tripping over them. And if you don't know me, you must be new to Isselbright. Doubtful, doubly delightful. Well, I am very pleased to meet you. What brings you to the capital? Um, The usual disowned noblewoman born out of wedlock trying to reclaim her birthright after watching her father cut down. You know the story. <laughs> ah, with luck, the disposition of noble titles is practically a second career of mine. You must allow me to accompany you. I will make sure uh, you find what you wish to know and thereby repay the good turn you've done to me disposing of those well-bred parasites. Splendid! Okay. I suggest we try the palace first or the Hall of Records. New party member hype. Biala Adelis. Yes. Yes. Let me see your character. Ooh, sorry for hitting the mic again. So we've got uh, a spell weaver, a feldegug spell weaver. Category mortal. What does my category say? I'm listening. Oh, we're all mortals. Why do they have a category there? I'm very curious what we will get in our party besides mortal. Immortal? Maybe, perhaps? All right, so there you go, go fighter. Ahead. I'm always ready. So for any of you that are going to be jumping into this, yeah, it could be undead. That's a good call, Strange Shay. For anybody that are jumping into it, this is good stuff to know, right? When you're trying to make your character. What do you wish of me? Do you need? The first two peoples that will join you, at least that I found, a fighter we'll find a and a spell weaver. I'm sure you're going to get lots of different options. You'll know, choose between, you know, you're going to have to make a party of five. But um, sometimes it's good to know what you get first. Yeah. Let's give the mods a workout and rename the stream Boggs Hot Girl Stuff. That'll be my title. Well, let's go into just chatting on Twitch and make our title Hot Girl Stuff. What do you think? All right.
I'll make it. What kind of spells does she have? Does she she has the same she has got like the same spells as I do. Corrosive bolt, summon spider. I don't have did I didn't have fever. I got a fever. Severin Sparkle. Oh, I don't have summon wolf and unbearable heat. She also has ride the lightning. Summon wolf. Hurry it up, please. Yeah. All right. Anybody else interesting here? Drunkard. Yes. The crooked haggler. All right. So what are you allowed to just steal? Yes, but these have nothing in them. Oh, this does. Dust of Strange Seduction? So anything not nailed down looks like it's okay to take. Are you certain? If we're allowed to steal, would it still be stealing? It's Friday, I can't think that hard. That's too much for me. Well, I go. That's the general store. Bellin's wares. Ilios, Curio. Elden. It's Elden. Elden's fabrics. Temple. Right guard headquarters. A lot of places. The Great Baths. I'm curious. I'm curious. Only the finest linens at Elden Whistler's fabrics. That's right. Excuse me, Whistler. I always say that wrong. Okay, it was Baths. Well, I go. Hi, everybody. Yes. Prices have been creeping up ever since the incident in the castle district. I don't know when is the next time I'll visit the baths again. Come on, isn't there like some major scandal we can get involved with here? Can I help you? And they're all complaining about prices. Do, 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 do. No? Okay. I like how there's like a war going on and there's like people in the bath just complaining. Uh. Well, I go. By the way, you bought this on Steam? Tick another copy for Box Stream? Thank you, Sparkwood. You're amazing. Very much appreciate it. As always, supporting our sponsors. You guys are great. Thank you, Sparkwood. Warden Haft, Greybark Square. Where's the, what's in the Castle District? Let's look at this, and then we're gonna wrap up. We're second one. We already went. We're already going over. You picked it up using the link, also. Thank you, Sar. Thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, this this looks right up uh, the alley of a lot of members of our community. For sure. And what's interesting is it's like it's got like similarities. Um, but from what I can tell, it's not it, it's not using Dungeons and Dragons like rules and spells and stuff like that, not, nor Pathfinders. So it's like it's got its own its own stuff you know the royal palace and the hall of records all My right God. let's do a minute of the hall of records and see what what happens there and then we'll wrap up the segment i'm gonna take a break Why 
what is that? Make way, commoner. Can't you see Lady Biala is coming through? I beg your pardon on this unworthy person's behalf, my lady. Thank you, sir, but this uh, commoner is actually a friend of mine. Oh, really? Really? She's not holding you hostage or anything like that, is she? No, not at all. But we have urgent business in the Hall of Records, may I? Of course, my lady. You and your friend are free to come and go as you please. I'm thankful our paths crossed on the lonely road, hot girl stuff. And you too, Lady Biala. I don't know if I ever could have gotten through those doors without your help. Now let's see what we can find. All right, but first, what the hell was that thing walking down the street? It's a patrol golem. Say. They let Golem Man see in here? He looks like the Michelin Man. Marauder just shared her lunch in mod chat and it looks delicious. I'm with you're in charge. What's going here? Okay. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. Scribe. <laughs> what should we have the scribe say? I don't know, just go like me Okay, fine. I go. The record keeper. My lady, it's good to see you. And you, record keeper, I know you're a busy man, so I'll get right to it. My friend, Hot Girl Stuff, needs information about a certain nobleman. If, uh, uh, I know if anyone can help us, it's you. Very flattering, Lady Biata. You are also very correct. Adam, what do you wish to know? Um, what is the fate of Lord Espen? Dead, I'm afraid. Killed in a raid on his estate, just as the war erupted. And what happened to the estate? Sacked by Darren Cold, the savages, the king's scouts reported no survivors, and worse, some dangerous creatures have decided to make it their den. The crown cannot spare the manpower to clear them out, so I suppose it shall fall to the heir or heirs. Who claimed the estate after Lord Espen's demise? Well, um, the disposition of the Espen estate is, of course, con confidential. I am legally bound to discuss that topic with no one who isn't directly concerned, that is to say, blood relatives only. Um, well, guess what? You're looking at the new Lady Espen. Tell me where to sign so I can start being rich. No, um... I am a direct descendant of Lord Espen, his daughter, in fact. Well, that is interesting. Espen did have an heir, a son named Aldnar, but there was no way for Aldnar to claim his legacy, so he quite decisively turned traitor to the crown. The matter of the patricide makes him doubly damned on that account. My sympathies for your loss, by the way. I'm over it. What about the money? No, okay. Think, help me claim my title. Did Lord Espen ever never recognize you as his daughter when he was alive? Um No. No matter. We have a record of every noble title in line in knighthood in Ismerald right here in this building going back centuries. I merely need to locate the correct document confirming your claim. Shouldn't take more than an hour, providing I don't get turned around in the stacks. Make yourselves comfortable, perhaps you would like to peruse uh the treatise of correlation of grain supply? With a number of other... What? I, what? I don't want to look at that. I just want money. Give me my money. Hey, Sassy. What's going on? Happy Friday. That was an hour? Oh, my, my, my. Oh, my. Are you ill? I feel dreadful, my dear. Oh, yes, I do. It's all quite troubling. Very troubling. What did you find? What did I find? It's what I did not find that is so vexing. There is no record of hot girl stuff's birth at all. <laughs> oh no! Isn't it frightful? I don't recall that I've ever searched for such a record and found an error like this. This whole house rests on the concept of a complete genealogy of noble lineage from the highest of the high, his majesty, to the, l the lowliest count. But what does that mean? Yes, let me see. Uh... If you wish to claim the title and estate of the Lord Espen, you must find documented proof of your lineage. And if no such proof is available here, it must be found on the estate or nowhere. Return to me with the correct documentation and I will see that you're recognized as Lord Espen's daughter and heir. So we gotta go clear out the dungeon where all the monsters went, like in the estate. Oh! How much can we steal? Ex Machina. Stop that right now! Oh! 
world greed grew by 75. Is that because I did that? Let's see what happens. Oh, for, okay, hold on. First, save. To the rescue scroll? Combat started. Okay, so you can't steal I'm with listening. impunity. By stealing stone. Speak your mind. I'm going to uh drain your life. Sue and Taras. Go ahead. Even the mightiest fall. Where where did all these people come from? Like Spittle. Yes. Yes. Put a wall over here. No, um, summon a wolf. Yeah. I wondered if randomly looting might increase that number. How about loading an autosave? Your protagonist died. Nice. All right, so um, we're gonna stop the the, uh, the sponsored segment there. But thorny subject, just out of curiosity, do you know what it means by the world greed increased? It seems like a mechanic of the world somehow. What do you know what that means, or does anybody know what that means? I'm curious because I've seen that pop up in like the chat window a little bit a couple times. How world greed increases. My bookkeeper voice was soothing, Sassy. Thank you. <laughs> Ape a noise. I think it, it it is. I think it depends on your actions. How oh, interesting. Okay. Hey, look, they don't hate me. Good. The big bad is the curse of greed, so I expect it's changing the general world state towards evil. Maybe. I'm listening. I go. Okay, so you kind of try to make sure the world greed doesn't increase too much, huh? All right, so... Oh, there's a greed tab you can check? All right, let's look at that real quick. Hello? Hello. Oh, no, it's raining. Uh, who's this wiggler? Lord Alfred? Hello? Come over here. I seem to have forgotten my scroll of invitation in the Hall of Records, and I have very important meeting shortly in the Royal Palace. I can't just barge in without it. Make yourself useful and fetch it? No! I will not do that. Well, I go. Um... There's a greed tab. Let's see, where would we find the greed tab? Not in the map. Oh, here you can set up your formation and set up their behaviors. In the quest log? Ah, oh, the greed. The curse of greed currently affects the world of Yarengal faintly. It can barely be felt, but those with a keen sense might start to feel its effect. Costs of living are on the rise throughout Yarengal, and albeit ever so slightly, some can feel the winds of change. All right, personal qualities, greedy or generous, vilified or idolized, unknown or famous. The world greed meter shows the progression of the curse of greed. Your actions might speed up or hinder its progress, but some events will change it nonetheless. Okay, interesting. Speak your mind. <laughs> we got this. I'm listening by steel and stone. <laughs> As you say. Run away! Run away! Oh. <laughs> All 
all right so uh gang this is uh black geyser now out fully released uh you can pick it up on steam type hashtag game one more time click the link support our sponsors by wish listening or purchasing the game through that link and thank you guys so much for uh, hanging out with me while we checked it out. And thanks so much to the folks at Grape Ocean and Vicarious PR for sponsoring today's segment. I had a lot of fun with it. And um, yeah, it's been great. So go pick it up. Um, I'm going to take a short break. <laughs> 